Would an anti-AI label impact your interest in a product? I'm adding this icon to the packaging of my latest playing card project, an animated deck of medieval-inspired playing cards for which I hand-illustrated every single element. Here's how I made the icon. Starting with text reading AI and outlining it with Command-Shift-O. Whipping up a circle with L on the keyboard. Now back to the text, I'm giving it a stroke and aligning the stroke to the outside. Then pulling the text to the front with Command-Shift-Close bracket. Let's get a crossing line with the pen tool, then expand that line and give it the same appearance as the text with the eyedropper tool. Using C on the keyboard, I'm cutting the circle into four pieces so we can pull these pieces to the front with command option closed bracket. It's looking really good from here, so time to expand all of our elements. And using the Pathfinder window, I'm going to trim this design. I'm selecting all of the black elements and hitting command two to lock them, allowing me to delete all these extra shapes. Finally, unlocking with command shift two and then using Pathfinder once again to unite those black shapes. Finishing up with some final tweaks, and now we have a beautiful anti AI icon for this playing card packaging. So what do you think? Would an anti-AI label impact your interest in a product? Sound off in the comments. You can support human-designed playing cards on my site.